today's video is noon and we're just waking up. No, not me. I've been up. I've been cleaning. I've been up. Huh? Girls just woke yeah. up. Gabby and Kaylee, they Kaylee slept over. Put your hands away. Okay, so the girls got tattoos last night while I was sleeping. Hooligans, hooligans. All right, show them. Let's show them. Show them the tattoo right. you're about to see. All right, so just wait. This is Kaylee's. This is Gabby's. That's what it looks like, you guys. <laughs> Yeah. That's what they were doing at 4 a.m. Kaylee oh, says they're not got, done yet. They also got our horses. Oh, they also got horses names. Wow, I love those ones. So these are uh, tattoos you guys made yourself, right? Yeah. Because I came yeah. down to a big pile of mess in the living room. And Sophie, hey. And Sophie's like, they made tattoos. She knew. All right, let's go put the horses in. Butterfly ones. Are you doing butter, butterfly ones? Ta-da. Oh, you still have? Oh, I can't show you the butterfly one. They're not in a good spot. They're not in a bad spot, but they're not in a spot you that's good for you too. You can see it in a bathing suit. All right, so it's already noon, past noon. We expect. And we have to bring the horses in. Good oh, thing yeah. I didn't do much with my hands today. Yeah, you should I had a shower and washed it, and that's it. We expect coffee. Yeah, what time yeah. did you go to bed? At? We have to go to the bar and take care of Chino. I think she went to bed at like two. two. One. Yeah. No, I went to bed. Sophie went to bed at two, was up at like eight. Oh, one something. Kaylee and Gabby went to bed at what, six? Five twenty. Five twenty, yeah, I know. I know, they think I don't know anything, but you know what? You can't be a teenager and not pull an all nighter. Oh! They were just running. It's more electric when it's wet. Yeah. They were running like crazy. And I said stop, and they all stopped. But yeah, that's what we gotta go out in. Yeah, now we have to walk. That's what happens, you guys, when you stay sleeping. I bet you they come to us really quick today. I got apples too. I'm not gonna be able to video because the camera will get wet. Like Gabby. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's go, Kaylee. Are you staying here? <laughs> Kaylee's staying here. Hell, hell with this hell. Torrential. So essentially, we. Oh my gosh. All right, that's it. Don't look at the poop down there. Sam left them in yesterday morning because of the rain. Oh. Have a good nap, girls. Look at the rain. It's torrential. We gotta go. Gabby's getting changed now. You're getting changed? No. Sophie finally looked be looking cute. She got new Crocs yesterday. She got those ones. I'd still be wearing my. See, your horse is slipping here. Sandals. We did not do chores yet. Flip flops. We did not do chores. It's not that bad. Let's go right now. Okay, we're going. We're going out. In the drive through and it is packed. You guys can't see, but the donut place is way behind that truck, and we are way over here, and it is still raining. Oh, it's our turn. We're there. We're here. To be honest, I think this is my first coffee run in the pouring rain. Like, it is bad out there, you guys. Thank you. Get one to Sophie. Oh my gosh, there's a flood. It is a flood. You guys might be happy to know I got sneakers on today. Wow, open the door and see what happens. Watch, you open the door and we get a flood zone. Wow. See where if the horses are out there. I just got that all over. See me. if the horses are out there. If they are, we'll bring them in. Oh, now there's no one down here. Oh my god! Oh. 
We came through my car. Yep, give me a phone. Okay, I just feel like this is not gonna work, girls. It's working. We're staying in the bar. Thank God. Thank God. Do you guys think it's just coming back in? Let me go yeah. over here. Oh. I'll fill them a little. We need sandbags. Get some sand. Get some sand. <laughs> Kaylee's in the flood zone. But none of the stalls are wet. No. Nope. Al, oh. we're helping you. Oh, God. Here, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> what are you doing, girl? Sylvia, keep your butt over here. Oh, look it. I fixed it. And I'm blocked up. That's great. <laughs> I'm struggling. Oh, no. Oh, well, this is I good now. Right here. Oh, no. Where are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Haley's oh. getting soaked. It's like a actual torrential rainpour. No, nobody's helping. Why didn't you guys wear your new Crocs? I did! Hello, handsome. He's doing really good. He's got a friend next door. Somebody left their pony in. This is coffee. You can't have it. Yay. Coffee. But we're going to look at your leg and see. He looks like he's not too bad. So, um, uh, we have a moderator on our channel. I don't know if you, if you guys have noticed. She removes comments if they're mean or if they're bullying or even if they are just making assumptions and causing like a, a thread where people are making up stuff. So uh, anyway, she was telling me that people, she was telling me some of the things that people were concerned about. And she said that people were saying things like that Chino was hurt in the field. He wasn't. I walked him in. Um, I watched the video. My trainers watched the video. I know it's easy to watch a video and think that you see things, but he walked in perfectly with me. It was only after he stood still for a little while and then um, he started to swell up and that's when he got laid. I don't know what I did with the syringe, you guys. I need the syringe for the medicine he has to get. Are you frozen? <laughs> Go in the bathroom. Bathroom's warm. It's really warm in there. Uh, Chino has red standing wraps. Gabby's proud of that. He's standing a little bit better today. Also told me that people were confused about the injury and that was my fault. I apologize. And it was because I was stressed out. Stressful morning. So basically what happened was that the vet said that it did not look like a tendon injury. It's just that he was standing on his toe and it was making the tendon stand out. Do you know what I mean? Like he was pushing it out a little on his own when his foot was down flat normal, his tendon looked fine. And he said they thinks he got like a bruise or whatever and he's gonna come back and recheck him tomorrow. So we're doing all the things he told us to do. Swelling went down and he's walking better. Problem is I can't find a freaking syringe found the freaking syringe. Oops, I put it somewhere. I just saw him walk in and he's definitely walking a lot better because the swelling went down. So probably he just got a stone bruise. She knew what the He's like, no way. He's not happy about the rain. I gave the girls the keys. Kaylee's soaked, so they're gonna warm up in the car. But look at the Blood is coming fast. Can you guys see it? It's actually moving. Can you guys see it moving? It is, it is, ah, it's coming for me. Even the horses are scared of the water. He looks a lot better. He looks so much better. I can't even get over it, you guys. The swelling's gone. He's also soaked. He's also soaked, but you're gonna be warm. Wow, that was like, such a fluke. We'll wrap his legs again and got some medicine for you. Yeah, and, a, and an apple. Sprained it a little bit. Yeah, he twisted it or something. Or a stone bruise. I don't know. So Non major twist because it, the swelling went away a lot. Yeah. All right. So get a bucket and we're going to soak it. So uh, we are treating him like we're wrapping his leg for the tendon just to make sure 
that it's all good and it'll be looking good. Looks normal because he's not standing on his tippy toes. Yeah, you're not. And um, we're just doing that just in case. And we are cold hosing his leg just in case. And we are soaking his foot just in case he did get a stone bruise and then is like, is gonna pop an abscess from it. So, and I realize every vet is different. I realize every treatment is different. I realize everybody has their own way and not one way is right. And I know you all know the same thing. I know none of you guys would just assume that your own way is right, that you allow other people to have their way and their vet to make their decisions. Good job. Keep it in. Keep it in there. We know. It sucks if you had been careful and not run from us. And I was not blaming Storm, you guys. What? Oh, my horses are actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta keep it on. And then she's gonna wrap you and then... Go back in your stall. Look at the haze about to get flooded. He's putting weight on it. Oh, well, it might be okay, you guys. Knock on wood, knock on wood. So the vet's only coming tomorrow if he's not like noticeably better. If he's, I mean, I might just have him come and check him anyways because I don't know, I just want to make sure. <sighs> you are scaring her horse. Anyways, I was not saying Storm was like, bad or I mean he was to blame and keeping them running for a long time but I don't think there's but I don't think there's anything wrong with that horses are horses that's what they do also I know a lot of people don't believe in this but I feel like our horses would rather die in a field with their friends running and playing than live in a stall locked up for their life and I, I know a lot of horses stay in stalls their entire life like the racing industry and that's not, nothing to do with me that's not my business it's not my horse I, I don't go there but I want my horses to live I want my horses to go out there and have the best life and I know a lot of you guys want them in smaller stall or smaller fields but the reason we come to this barn is because I like the facility I like the field and yeah they're gonna get hurt and you guys know horses horses get hurt no matter where they are we like it here and we're not making a change so hopefully you guys understand that and understand that everybody makes the choices that they feel comfortable with for their own horse and that's the choices that we make for ours yeah oh I got an apple for you so she does it, yeah. I do it to her too, Chino. I do it to her, don't you worry. Just when she doesn't expect it, I'll be patting her head. I brought a treat for him. She's drying him off, making him uncomfy. I could blind him. <laughs> She's making him blind. <laughs> You're such a good boy. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. We love this boy. I'm gonna text our vet and tell him. Doing much better. Doing much better. You know what's weird? He, it, like all of our animals, they are so bonded to and their owners. Wrap them out here. Yeah, you can wrap them out here. Um, I thought I did a really good job. Yeah, you did do a good job. Oh, is that your friend making noise? Let's set them in the freaking oh. arena. Oh my god. What the actual heck? <laughs> You see? Wow, look at this. Go over the cross rail! What? Go over the cross rail! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> I give them the key so they can warm up in the car and they do this. It's freezing, Jesus. Good job! Sophie goes back to the car. <laughs> Sophie is my child. Go over the cancer poles! Cancer poles! They're cancer for you! And that, my friends, is why Gabby Good and job. Kaylee are friends. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I, <laughs> no. I would, but like, I don't want to change my again. Yeah, we've already yeah, changed. Look at the water out there. That's how much water came. Like this is, I this is flooding. Oh, there's Sophie. <laughs> yeah, I'm videoing you. 
She's got short time. A pole is floating, they said. <laughs> Jump it! All the, so suddenly all the jumps go floating away. I don't know if Kaylee has actually any dry clothes at our house. All right, you be looking good, Chino. You be looking good. See, he's like standing flat. The barrier comes tomorrow for sure. So hopefully you'll be able to stand on your other foot. So the owner of the barn came back, saw the girls running in the arena. So, so they came running out because <laughs> they were embarrassed. But be free, you guys. Play, enjoy yourself. Boys do it. Girls should do it too. That's all the water though. Holy heck a deck. That's insane. So today I gave Penny an apple and she took the whole thing in her mouth. And I said, oh, Penny, I want that half of that back. And she dropped the apple into my hand. Because she couldn't eat it all because it wasn't out of Okay, let me have my own miracle. Let me have my miracle. Hater, hater, hater. All right, bye, bye big boy. We'll be back. We'll be back tonight when all the boys are in. We'll come back and see you, okay? We'll come back and see you. Make sure you're okay. It's, oh, medicine, I don't have any more treats. Sorry, sorry. He's like, oh, forget about it then. So the guy that owns this farm has like a, one of those water things. He sits, sits it on the fence. It's like this big cylinder shape and it measures the water. And he said, already today we've had two inches of water, four inches of water since Monday. That's a lot of water. But anyways, he was like saying to me like, what happened to Chino? He said he looked really good walking out of the stall this morning. And I was explaining to him. She knows it's not he says he doesn't ever night. see Storm do the running thing. You guys all, have you ever seen Storm do the running thing? Oh my gosh. Remember the day we went oh, yeah. to go to a show? I've seen him do it. I have to find that video and show you guys if you're new. Like, he was mad. If he gets mad, he... One day we went to go to a show and he was alone in a paddock and he did laps and jumps and laps and jumps and that's his thing and I love it. I love that about him. He's the most entertaining horse we have but when he's running other horses for a long time the other horses are tired and big and prone to injuries. Not a good thing but anyway. Chino is on the men. He's in Gabby yeah, might even get to go to the show. We just gotta make sure that we have lots of time to get him keep him exercised. Uh, we have some plans for that. I haven't told you guys about it. We only ride in small arenas right now and I think that's a big problem of why Chino finds like when he gets into like a show ring, it's so much for him because it's so much space he has to cover. Wait, do this at home. And I know that small arenas build bigger muscle but they're still like, you know, he's just still not used to that big space but let's go home. Okay, so we are home. We are home from the barn. Chino be looking so good. I thought for sure we're done show season, but you never know. Keep praying and believing and we'll see what happens. Oh, yuck. So if we're at that show, apparently, if you win first place, it's $30. If you win second place, it's, it's $25. If you win third place, it's $23. If you win fourth place, it's $20. And then it ends at fourth place. So she won $63. Gabby won $63 at that show. Yeah. Our shows are fun. Don't you know that you're beautiful?